All right, guys. So I was just going to tell you a little bit about this Zorin OS, and I, one of the reasons why I don't really recommend it, I don't think, is it wants to link with your phone and other things like that. It wants to do very much Windows-like activities. Um, it wants you to pay more money if you want to add different desktop environments. So, like right here, the appearance. It says get more layouts upgrade to Zorin OS Pro and they want money and um, they include the brave browser but they don't include Firefox they don't make the terminal easy to get to um, they're kind of funky on navigating whereas so when I click that then I can scroll through all this stuff it actually is a little bass backwards from Windows so you have all this stuff over here. You know, you've got your folders and things like that, which are fairly normal, but um, I was really turned off by the fact that they uh, have something called Zorin Connect that they want you to do all this other thing. And then uh, just a whole bunch of other stuff like that. So I'm not crazy about it at all. Um, they have some cool desktops and stuff like that, but let's see what's coming here and go, uh, display settings, so we can go background, and this one here is the default one, here's a better looking one with stars, there's this one, uh, there's this one. I mean, but you should be able to just put whatever the hell you want on here, I don't know if it allows you to do that or not. Monument Valley. So if I wanted to change the display settings, I don't think it'll allow me to change the background. They want you to pay to do that. Add, well, okay, add a picture. So yeah, I guess I probably could. All right. Let's go do, 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 Firefox. Okay. Let's see. Let's just go. We'll go to Ham Radio Outlet. We'll just like pick up some stupid picture of something. What could we find here? Here we'll go. We'll take this picture here. We'll go full screen. Interesting. Save image as whatever. Save. All right. Well, let's go add picture. Downloads. Open. <laughs> so I guess it will let me do this. All right. There's my. There's my picture. Anyway, I'm not impressed with this operating system. I really uh, like the MX Linux just because it has the flat pack and all that integrated in here. I don't know how to do that, and this has like some goofy like. Uh, you gotta find it. It, it's like, well, where's the thing to do the apps? Well, we have Archive Manager, which is like the crap I don't like dealing with. So I'm not gonna play with this any further. My main goal was to test it to see if it could work with Chirp, and it does. So, thanks for watching, guys.